Okay, so where are we? Um, we're working on configuring our Jekyll site, and I solved the mystery of the about. Um, so we saw this the last time, and every time I clicked on this, I was seeing this, I'm like, where in the world did this come from? Well, one of the things I didn't notice is that there was an about page here, and so this is what's in this page. So these pages don't actually need to be in the pages directory, they just happen to be there, and so this is what was happening. So I'm going to fix this. So we have the about, and I'm going to delete all this. The about page. Put that into this directory, so um, yeah, mystery solved. Right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a different layout for the posts that are created in the post directory. So I'm going to do that by adding a new HTML file. And I'm going to call this post.html. And what I'm going to do is, in this file, I'm going to add um, just information about that I'm going to draw from the header part of each one of those files. And so I'm going to, in the post.html file, which there, um, what in the world? I'm going to have it use, by default, uh, the default layout, which that's a little weird, I know. It's going to draw, uh, you know, most of the information from here. Uh, but then it's going to add in one piece. So after it has all of this, it's going to draw the content from the post. But then um, it's going to annotate one other bit um, for, the, um, uh, for the post. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to add in a bunch of um, um, a bunch of information um, that we're going to draw from the header part of the post. So let's look and see what's at the headers. I've got uh, layout, that's not important to me, but date, title, categories. I'm going to add in something here for, um, let's call it, um, salutation. Salutation. And we'll say sincerely. Okay. So in the, um, in the post.html, I'm going to start using all of that. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, all the content for the page, whatever is in, not the page, but in the post, all the content, that's going to go there. Uh, but I'm going to add in some of the, some paragraphs, some HTML paragraphs. Um, and I'm just going to tag it as a class being meta. I'm not using this information or anything, but I'm going to put that in there anyway. And I'm going to say, um, uh, let's see, let's say title. And use the page variable. So let's see what that says. Page variable. There's page, so title, URL, date. So I'm going to use both title and date on the page, or yeah, on the post. So uh, let's start with the title. Um, that's what I'm starting with, which I don't need any more than just title. And I'm going to put another one here. I'm going to use date. And put the date in there. We'll have the post. And at the bottom, I have the, I'm going to have the salutation. Post. 
salutation page dot salutation I'll put a comma there and then on every page I don't have no idea what this is going to look like but on every page I'm going to say Jerry okay so when there's a post, <laughs> I have all this stuff, and I don't. I guess it's just gonna. It's presumably gonna look like a letter, um, and yeah, we'll see. Let's see what, what it's gonna look like. Okay, so uh, there was one thing I need to do. Uh, you see here, layout post that corresponds to this. So if I change the layout to some other thing, uh, it would take. It would use uh, some other format, but since these match, so layout matches this, it should be, this file should be laid out using that format. Um, let's see what this one, this is, this is layout post, hello, my name is Jerry. Okay, yeah, so let's see what this all looks like. Now that we have that, and regenerate everything. Uh, back to our about page. Okay, so this is, oh, I haven't added the link to the, the blogs yet. I need to do that. Um, let's just go to the base page so that we can see the list of those, those posts, so that we can see the formatting worked out. So I'll click on Welcome to Jekyll. Oh, I have done something wrong. So I don't see my formatted page. I wonder. Let's see what happens in our page source. If there's anything, there's nothing there at all. So definitely did something incorrectly. Um, back to, let's go back to the post.html file actually and let me add something here let me add a div let me call this post so that we can get all of this formatted properly this might be a problem Um, maybe, maybe, let's see. I might have, I might have a couple of other tags that I need. I'm going to restart the server also. And back up here. There we go. So, um, so I needed that uh, needed that div here. I'm thinking what happens is that Jekyll is looking for this class for the for the div um, in the HTML in order to, to format it properly so that it picks it up. So I don't. So maybe it's not just the name of the file, but actually the div that uh, that. Uh, implements the, uh, the formatting. But anyway, you see here, uh, remember our title, date, this is the post, there's our salutation, and then the other text that I put into the uh, file. Okay, so that's one thing that I wanted to do. The other piece that I want to do is I want to add in, I need, we need a link to the blog. Um, which we don't have here, and I want to add that into. This. So we need another list item to go after the four. So let's put in the list item and a href equals we're going to go to slash blog. Um, 
and I need to prepend the base URL for the site here. And I'm going to call it posts. I could call it blog, I guess, but let's we'll use post. All right, so we start. There's the post. Click on that. That should give us. Oh, I have nothing there, but uh, but it's a start. I need to get um, the um, the actual blog directory in place um, so that there's something there. Uh, actually, this is probably more than I thought I was going to need to do. Actually, there's more things that I have to do. I need to create a blog directory. This is blog. Um, because I'm telling you to go to that directory and there's nothing there. There's no directory. So, uh, And then I'm going to, I need to add a file. Um, I need to configure what that blog page looks like. So I'm going to put an index.html there. Um, and what do I want there? I want, uh, I want this thing you know, to be laid out like a default page. Um, oh, so one of the things to notice here that I can either use markup or I can use HTML um, for these um, uh, for these these pages. Obviously we want to try to stick to markdown as much as we can, but for convenience I'm going to do this all as HTML. Uh, I actually need to write a loop and iterate over all the posts um, or all the yeah all the uh, the posts that are on the site. So if you go to site maybe there's a variable called post, yeah there it is. A reverse chronological list of all posts. That's what I want to iterate into a list. So I'm going to do that uh, for a post. Insight.posts. I'm going to create, um, uh, let's see, what do we want? We want, uh, I guess I'll do this in H4. And then we want a link to the actual blog post. So whatever it is in a post, um, so a post, uh, whatever the URL is, that's where we're going to go. And I think that I need to do this. I need to prepend the base URL. Um, See, do I have enough? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay. Um, and then I want the title, the post, post title. Actually, a post. And then I can end the four. Oops. Okay, well, we have the new file. Let's see what happens. Yay, there it is. And there's our list of our posts. I'll click on one. Yes, that works. Oh, I didn't give a salutation to. There's no salutation on that post. Yo. All right. All right. So that's exact. That's everything I wanted. We've got our link now to our our posts that sit in the blog directory. I guess I could have called that posts instead of blog. But uh, we have our list of of items, um, and then back to all the styling that we wanted for the 
site. So, um, the thing that you're going to be doing is you know, developing this, uh, this blog site over time this semester. You can actually make this so that it, it looks more like a portfolio than a, uh, than a regular site. So your posts will actually be um, examples of the work that you've done. Uh, if you look at my demo site that I created, not this one, but the, the one that I created for the course, I put my, uh, my resume or my, my curriculum vita. Um, you're going to do something similar. So anyway, uh, at some point I'm going to have all of this available, this, uh, all of the, um, the files under this test site will be contained in a, um, a Git repository, but for now, um, I want you to kind of follow along here, uh, as sketchy as it is, um, to create and configure your own site. But anyway, that concludes this video.